Hi, welcome to Slick Willy Fly, and today what we're going to do is this. It is a big eye streamer, all bucktail, and a, and a big eye with a UV resin head. I don't actually have a, a, uh, a name for this fly. Um, so we're just going to call it a, a big eye streamer. Um, for this, it's a simple fly. For this fly, obviously, I'm going to use two colors of bucktail. And, and a little tip, so the, the basic colors like white and yellow and black and pink and these colors that I use most often, yeah, I buy full bucktails. But then I like to do variants. I like to have maybe a chartreuse. You know, maybe I throw in a little salmon pink. You know, and for these kind of flies, I, I don't want to buy a, a full bucktail, you know, and spend the money on a bucktail when I'm going to tie you know, maybe at the most 10 or 12 of these things. So I'm going to go ahead and make another one. And for the next one, I'm going to make salmon pink. And I have a little piece of salmon pink here ready to roll. So let's get in on it. Okay, so here we are. So for this tie, I'm going to go ahead and put in a uh, Mustad um, stainless steel hook, 34007 in the vise. This is a size 2.0. Uh, this fly you can tie in pretty much any size you like. I happen to like the 2.0 size a lot for my saltwater fishing. I'm going to put a few wraps of lead thread because the bucktail makes this fly pretty buoyant. Now, the whole secret to this fly, I think, is to keep the bucktail sparse. I don't want a ton of bucktail on this fly. You know, that'll make this fly um, cast better. It just does everything better. It still has a nice profile, but it doesn't have to be super heavy. So I put on about, I don't know, 10 wraps of lead thread, and that's about a quarter of an inch or, I don't know, six or seven millimeters of lead thread on the hook. And I'm just gonna put a tiny, tiny touch of super glue. And I'm going to give that a second. The first material that I'm going to use is actually crystal flash. And for this fly, I'm going to use this pearl crystal flash. I, I just really love the pearl. You know, the pearl gives it, um, it, it could reflect any color. It's amazing how it reflects any variety of different colors. For thread, I'm going to go ahead and use 100 denier. I'm going to start in white. Um, doesn't mean that we're going to end in white. I can always take a, a Sharpie to this thread and make the head any color I want. But I'm just going to put on a base like we always do. Because I'm using this 100 denier, I'm going to cut it with a razor instead of my scissors. Just like that. So I'm exploring, obviously, if you watch my videos, I'm exploring camera angles. And, and I think that, I, I think I really like this camera angle. I think that this shows how to make the fly a little bit better than the angles I've been using. So I'm gonna continue to give this a try and, and I'm open to any feedback. All right, so for the first material is I took like, uh, three strands of crystal flash, which I've cut in half. And now I'm gonna fold them in half. And, and I definitely do not want the ends perfectly aligned. And I'm just gonna pretty much guess my length only because I've done this a bunch of times. I would say it's at least a hook shank from the tie in point. And I'm gonna give this a couple wraps making sure that I like where it's sitting, lock it nice and tight. I'm going to go ahead and run it all the way up to basically the back of my thread and I'm going to go ahead and clip it off. And that's plenty of flash, I think, for this fly. If you want, in fact, I'll do it. You can take a wrap under helps like splay them a little better. 
Beautiful. It's nice and tight. They're locked in. So now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use this SSS braid, also in pearl. And I'm just going to basically wrap a little body. So I'm going to go ahead and tie in a little bit of this SSS. And like everything else you tie in, you tie it in right from where you want it to start wrapping. That little bit of a mess you see there, not really worried at all about that because that's going to go away. So I'm going to go ahead and use my rotary function, which I hope stays in the frame and I hope stays focused. And I'm going to go ahead and run it up to about where the lead thread ends. And I go back a little here. Not that I'm trying to make a body, it just didn't seem like it covered so well. I want the lead thread covered. And now I could capture this. Just like that. And trim it off. And, and that's just because this little bit of body will show. All right, so now we start tying in the bucktail. I'm gonna start with the bottom. And all I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use the full length of this little bucktail that I have here. So all I'm gonna do is, just to make it an easy tie for me, is I'm gonna square up the end. I'm gonna trim up the end. And what do I mean? I mean, just gonna square that up. So it looks nice and clean, just like that. Now I'm going to take it, I'm going to kind of divide it by the hook and I'm going to tie it just beyond the uh, eye of the hook. I'm going to make a couple loose wraps. I'm going to make sure that I don't necessarily want it to go all the way around this fly, this hook. But I do want to have good coverage <clears throat> at the bottom there. So now I can just make, I'm going to continue to wrap not super hard because I don't want the, the deer hair to just go bananas on me. Not yet anyway. And now that I feel like I have it, now I'm going to wrap it hard. Okay. And I didn't get all the deer hair. A little bit didn't get captured, but that's fine. Plenty of deer hair on there. Yes. All right. Now you notice that I didn't go crazy wrapping this with thread wraps because there's more deer hair coming. So for the next piece of deer hair, I'm actually going to take from the natural again, but I'm going to take something with a little bit of blended brown, brown and white which will start to give me a little bit of the dark color before I go to the, the orange. So again, I just clip off a little bit of deer hair. That's about the amount that I'm going to use. And you see it's blended. I'm going to take out all the shorts. All right. I like it. And I'm going to use the exact same method. Crazy long there. I'm going to go ahead and place it on the hook the same exact way. A couple of loose wraps, making sure that it starts to blend a little. And I'm going to keep doing not super hard wraps yet, just keeping everything under control. And once I like that it's under control, now I could crank down on this. And what that does is it keeps the head so much cleaner and keeps the fly to look pretty much exactly the way you want it to look. All right. So now the last color that I'm going to use, 
and hopefully it's going to be the longest of my bucktail fibers will be the top and i'm going to use this um they call it salmon pink it's actually i can show you the package <clears throat> oh no this is fluorescent fire orange hmm I have a salmon pink, but I grabbed the wrong package. But all right, we're going to go with this orange because I'll be honest with you, I like all the colors. And again, I'm going to use this very sparse. I don't want a lot. All the shorts are gone. Uh, you know, that's the thing about this camera angle is you don't get to see everything I'm doing. So I have mixed feelings on it, but, but I think it shows the fly very well. So now I'm going to go ahead and place this right on top using the full length of the of the bucktail piece two loose wraps now it's important that I put it right where I want it I don't want it to go wrap around the fly but I also want it to cover the top a couple more wraps not really cranking on this yet And once I'm happy with that, now I can crank down on this. One last check of everything. I like it. I like it a lot, actually. And I'm going to go ahead and secure this head. Oh. Sometimes it's not as easy as you want it to be to make the head. We'll get there. And this is where you have choices now, because you have to remember that the um, color will show through when you do the UV resin. So I can easily take a marker and change the color of this head, or I could leave it white. It's completely up to the whoever's tying the fly. I can add a little bit of flash. In fact, I'm going to add, I'm going to add one more piece of flash, crystal flash. So I'm going to pull out one full length. I'm going to fold it in half. Just like that. I'm going to go ahead and put it on the side, like a lateral line. Couple of loose wraps. Take it over. Whoops, touch the camera. Sorry. Take it over to the opposite side. Make sure I like where it ends up, which I do. Take my scissors and open up the loop. Perfect. It's not a lot of flash on this fly, but I think it's enough. So now it's just a whip finish. So now I'm going to change the camera angle and we'll put on some eyes. All right, so we'll be right back. All right, so we're back. I hope you're enjoying a good cocktail with me. So this fly, the way it is right now, will definitely fish. But like I was saying, I have a bag full of markers, uh, Sharpies. And it's super easy. The white uh, thread will easily change to any color you want. I can take this fly and easily turn the top half orange. Leave the bottom white. So it looks just like the fly. And we're going to do that, just like that. Super simple. Took a second. So oftentimes you'll, say, you'll see that I use a lot of white thread because it's so easy for me to change the color. Now, for the eyes, what I'm going to use are 10 millimeter uh, living eyes. And these are called fire red. And a lot of times in my videos I'll say, oh, I'll put a link on how I do it. But I think for this one, I'm going to go ahead and do it. So I'm going to take a thick UV resin and I'm just going to put a drop, one drop 
where the eye should go. And okay, where should the eye go? Well, I use the eye of the hook and the shank of the hook as my reference point. So that I know that I put them on basically the same location on both sides. Now I take my time and I carefully, as carefully as possible, I'm going to place the eye where I want it because I don't want to move it too much. I want it to land pretty close. And that looks pretty good. And you know, Putting on eyes, you'll just get better and better with practice. And once I like it, I zap it. And that eye is not going to move now. Now I reverse the fly and repeat the process. One drop. I really, really like these uh, living eyes. The brand is Fish Skull. Pretty sure that's the brand, Fish Skulls maybe. And um, I buy a couple of different products from them. They make the, the links that I like when I make a game changer. And I really like these living eyes. I think they look just wicked. So once I'm happy with that, and I'm pretty happy with that, move the little on me. I just did something right there that I really don't like doing. Do not like having my fingers in the UV light. It could be total nonsense, but I've heard rumors of um, mostly ladies who do their, their fingernails and they use it a lot that they're developing um, cancer on their fingers from the UV lamp. And it could all be complete BS, but why stick your fingers in? That's nice. Someday, someday, I may let everyone know which is my preferred rum. So now I have this, it's a little bit older, it's a little clumpy, but it still works. Super thick UV resin. And it doesn't matter whether you start on the top or the bottom. And all I'm going to do with this one is I basically, it, it fills the gap between the eyes. That's really my goal here. without making a gigantic mess. So now, now it's important, as that settles in, it's important that the um, bucktail actually is the way you want it because it's not gonna move now. I have a needle that I use just for UV to help me maneuver this the way I like. This stuff is really thick. But that looks pretty good right there. Like I said, all I'm trying to do is get between the eyes. Just fill that gap. Now they say that UV resin cures in, you know, 10, 15 seconds. But this is quite thick right here. So I'm going to go ahead and give this a little bit more than 10 or 15 seconds. And in fact, when I'm done with this fly, I'm going to set this in my windowsill. And tomorrow, we could sit there all day. It doesn't matter. I'm not going fishing tomorrow. And let the sun really cure this, uh, this UV resin. But that should be pretty locked in right there. So now I repeat the process on the top. I use everything I can use to my advantage. Gravity, uh, 
all the laws of physics here. You'll see what I mean in a second. When I go to a thinner consistency, I do a lot of spinning of this fly. Right now, I'm just trying to use this mega thick resin. Might need a little more. Just to fill that gap. That's all I'm trying to do. Fill the gap. But I'm definitely done with that resin now. Give it a second to settle into its spot. That looks good. And zap it. So now I'm going to switch consistency. I'm going to get a, a thinner viscosity resin. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually put a little bit of resin on the eye and work it off the edge so that the resin is on the, the bucktail. And what that does is it really, really, really makes this head pretty bulletproof. So let's go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and switch to a thinner consistency. And I'm going to go ahead and just put a little on the edge here, like we were saying. And I'm using, I'm actually using the nozzle itself to work it off the edge. I'm going to go ahead and put a little coat right on the entire head of this fly. And do the same on the opposite side. So it works off the edge little coat on the entire fly and now I'm not desperately in a rush but this thinner you do need to work a little bit quicker and now I'm using gravity and, and using like I was saying all the laws of physics to get this to coat evenly and get it right where I want it but again I'm not in any rush I will continue to work this and maneuver this as much as needed until I'm happy with the way this looks. I could change the angle of the fly if I'm not satisfied with the way it's shaping. I spin in multiple, you know, both directions. And what this does is it really gives me that head that I'm looking for. And then once I hit it, it's gonna pretty much be locked in in that position. Now I could see directly that there are some little gaps that I need to fill in. Needs a tiny bit more resin. The bottom looks better than the top actually. Okay, so I want to put a tiny bit more resin on this just to make that head get the shape that I'm looking for. I might change the angle just a bit. I don't want that extreme angle. happy with this. That came out really nice. So it's like I'm saying, there's no reason to fear UV resin. Take your time. You saw me do this in layers. Just, you know, make sure that the resin is where you want it before you put the lamp to it. Because once you put the lamp to it, that's it. And I promise you, this fly right here, this fly is bulletproof. This will catch a lot of fish. As long as when you're removing the fly from the fish's mouth, that you grab the hook and not the bucktail, 
this fly will catch you a lot of fish. It's a good, strong, durable fly that it's sparse enough that it'll cast, <clears throat> it should cast fairly easily. And it should, it, it's not gonna sink like a stone, it's bucktail, but it will sink and it'll allow you to fish whichever water column you're trying to fish. You know, just let it sink for 10 seconds or 15 seconds, depending on how deep your water is before you start to work that fly. So it's a, it's a cool fly. I like this fly a lot, actually. And uh, I think it came out great. The last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a needle and a lighter, which I'd have to go get. Actually, I have a lighter, look at that. And I'm gonna clean up the head just a little bit. I don't put the lamp, I don't put the, the lighter to the fly because I risk, you know, damaging the fly. But this works really good right there. Singe off those little tiny hairs <clears throat> that, you know, you probably don't even see them in the video. But, you know, I, I'm sure that you're like me and you want your flies to look perfect. So just like that, that looks way better. Something so simple. Just a lot cleaner. So I, I hope you enjoyed this video. And um, this is my big eye beast. I don't really have a name for this fly. It's just a, a big eye bucktail. And these are great flies. Here's another one. This one's in yellow. And uh, I promise you they catch a lot of fish. And super simple tie. Super inexpensive. Fits all my criteria. And gets bites. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And see you on the next video.